Hi everyone, welcome back to the Fluffo channel. This month is the Halloween month and we are going with the Little Nightmare theme. Little Nightmare is a horror puzzle adventure game which the setting of the game is in a whimsical, dark, mysterious world. Following a character named Six, who is the main character, and a character named Mono from Little Nightmare 2. As you can see, we have decided to draw the two main characters as our cover front page. So one of the moments of the game, there's a stage where the enchanted eye will be shining a ray of light and we will have to avoid it. We really like the concept, therefore drawing the two main characters in the middle of the light acting like a spotlight. Once she is done drawing the two main characters, she is now preparing her alphabet stamp to create the title of the cover page. Now she is cutting out the alphabet needed for the words and putting them aside for stepping later on. So what she did is she will stick the alphabet stamp to the acrylic block and start stamping out the title of the month. Next, she will be cutting out some black paper to cover up the dark part of the cover page. She will be using this uh, glue tape, which is very convenient. So it acts like a correction tape and it can stick on the paper very well. Look at it go! Oh yes. Yeah, so she'll be sticking all the black paper to cover up the darkness of the page instead of coloring the entire page black. And here we are done with the cover page. Very nice, right? For this page, she will be drawing most of the boss monster that we met throughout the game. Throughout the series, we have met many different kinds of monsters which all have different abilities. Besides escaping from the monsters and solving puzzles to escape from the place, what really absorbs us into the game is the, all the mysterious stuff that is happening around the world, such as why the monsters are made the way they are now and there are so many mysterious storytelling in the game itself. We had so many questions such as why sex is in the ship, why are there only monsters around, who's the lady in the mask who control the ship. It just made us even more curious about this whole strange world of Little Nightmare. And what does the title Little Nightmare even mean? Are we as the main character the Little Nightmare for these monsters? 
we'll never know until the story continues. Though playing through Little Nightmare 2, the second part of the game, does solve some of the problem or question that we have. However, it also brings in even more questions, making us hanging and waiting eagerly for the next series to come. Here you can see she's drawing one of my favorite stage or boss monster of the series. The janitor, a monster who takes care of the captured children on the ship and I assume sending them to the kitchen and be prepared to be eaten. He had very long arms, yet blind during his stage. We had to be very quiet and sneaking around avoiding his attention. We got quite an amount of jump scare with his long arms filling the spaces and he moved around cause he is blind. We got really really scared and had a lot of jump scare trying to escape from him. After she is done drawing the characters on the black paper, she is now drawing the lines for the calendar. As you can see, there's excess black paper and we use a pen knife to cut out the excess. Being very careful for this part as we didn't want to cut out the page out by accident. After pasting the characters around the bottom of the page, we will need to write down the numbers for the month of October. I really like how the design of this page turns out. It felt like the characters of the series are coming together and taking a big group photo. For these pages, we are going to make a Dutch door for the weekly pages. On the sides, we are using it for the trackers. Left side, the habit tracker and right side, the sleep tracker. To keep the design of the bujo consistent, black paper are used as well for designing the trackers.
Next, we divide the dash door in the middle into 8 parts. 7 days in a week and a note at the end for the week. The note part is the area for her to jot down all the random things or random ideas she had for the week. We highly recommend this game, especially if you are someone who are really into horror. Although this game has a few jump scares here and there, it's not actually that scary in my opinion. In fact, I will be looking forward for the next part to come as I really want to know what's going on in this crazy world of Little Nightmare. This game is available on quite a few platforms such as Nintendo or Steam on PC. Even after completing the game, we actually went online to read the theories made by other players, finding more about the story. And now we are at the final flip through, we hope you like the spread for this month. If you have played this game, I really love to hear your opinion about the game. Feel free to discuss it down in the comment below with me. Please like and subscribe if you like our content. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.